Hey everyone, Falcon Uruguay here. Uh, today we're going to do a review of some items here. Uh, this is a little riff on a previous video I did of uh, dollar store long shelf life items. And I figured, what the heck, we're going to try something a little different here, but within the same vein, we're going to go with Walmart items that are long shelf life, quote unquote. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at what we're going to review today. Uh, first things first, we're going to go with one of these. This is a Tyson white chicken salad uh, kit. As you can see here, we're, we'll review that. We're going to go ahead and review one of these, which is similar to what I reviewed last time. These star kissed uh, little ready to eat tuna salads. We've got that. We've got this one, which I found interesting. This is the Bumblebee, the lunch on the run. Now, what's interesting about this one is it includes not only the tuna salad and the crackers and a spoon and all that, but it also comes with, as you can see here, it comes with a fruit cup and a cookie. So I figured you guys like to see that. That's a little interesting there. Uh, also, looking around, you know, we're going to go with some more of the traditional stuff that you would normally find. And here's one thing that everyone would know about for long shelf life. Vienna sausages. Tried and true. Everyone's eaten these at some point. But I found these and they were kind of interesting. Hot and spicy. And this one caught my eye because of the flavor. Bourbon barbecue flavored sauce. So we'll try that. And then along with... Along with all of this, I also found these, and I'd never seen these before, and I'd figured, I don't think anyone on YouTube's done video on these. I found these, these are um, great value brand, as you can see here, and they're called Tunivations. And they're a little, um, they're little uh, retort pouch, um, pouches of tuna, and this one is a black pepper tuna patty. And the patty is what caught my eye, was the, that terminology. So let's set that right there. Here's a lemon pepper tuna patty. And then this one is the one that really caught my eye first. And I, I, I was trying to figure out why, but there is a breaded tuna patty. So this one is the one that's going to be the most interesting one, I think, out of all of them. So as you can see here, you know... They look interesting enough. So let's go ahead and let's move everything off to the side here. And we'll, we'll go ahead and let's break out our tray here. And we'll get started. All right, first things first. Let's go ahead and, since this one's going to take the most work to do, let's go ahead and try out our white chicken salad kit. As you can see here, it tells you exactly what's on it, what's in the, in, in the package. You've got the chicken mayonnaise relish crackers and a spoon so that's what it looks like and then here is the nutritional information if i can get it to there we go there's your nutritional information and it's got 18 grams of protein which is not bad i mean that's pretty reasonable considering so uh let's get into it all right so that's what it looks like it's a little kind of clamshell packaging here let's set that down and we've got our crackers it looks like there's six crackers in there we have a package of hidden valley mayonnaise a little packet of heinz sweet relish got ourselves a little whoops little wooden spoon which i'm gonna place that over here but and then we've got our little can of the chicken. And here's some of the nutritional facts here, if we can get it to, there we go, kind of, kind of, sort of focus there. All right. All right. So let's, uh, let's crack into this. Now, being that... I really dislike the taste of wood. 
um, in these kind of in these kind of things, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our little our little Walmart branded um, cooking. I mean, um, camping uh, utensils. So let's use this to open up the can here. Let me. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and open up this can, and as you can see, there's our chicken. It's packed in. Looks like looks like it's packed in some sort of water. So let's go ahead and drain that out. All right. So that's our that's our little water there. Let's get that off to the side, and we'll go ahead and. Get our chicken out onto into our little container and we'll go ahead and get it all out. Alright, that looks good. Yeah, it looks like we got it all all gone there. Alright. So now let's go ahead and we'll take our mayonnaise. Now, the expiration date on this, let's see if you can see that. It looks like it says December of 2017, so I'm not sure. But, you know, these things last a lot longer than what you would expect. But being that the, the little mayonnaise and stuff comes in these little, these little normal packets... Now that might prevent the uh, prevent them from lasting a long time, but the chicken itself, being that it's canned, should last a considerably long time. So there's our got all of the mayonnaise out. And it looks like we got all of it there. All right, we'll go ahead and add our our little sweet relish. Let me go ahead and. Just make life easy and we'll clip this with a pair of scissors as opposed to trying to tear it. Alright, and there goes our there goes our relish on there. Alright, I think that's all of it. Alright. Alright, and We'll go ahead and mix this up. And it looks like it's white meat chicken. You know, it's breast meat. And uh, it smells a little tinny, but of course that would, that's to be expected, being that it is canned. But, I mean, that's a pretty, that's a pretty healthy portion of uh, chicken. And as according to the package, it's, you know, 18... 18 grams of protein so 18 I'm sorry uh, yeah 18 grams of protein so I mean that's actually not bad and 250 calories it's pretty good I mean I think this would constitute a good little good little uh, quick meal here I would have preferred that this had been already prepared beforehand so it would just be an open and eat deal but you know, in the field, if you've got the time, then, you know, I'm sure that it would be a welcome thing that you're actually preparing your own meal. So let's get this out of here, because, like I said, I dislike the taste of wood when eating. So let's go ahead and we'll get our cracker, and these look to be some sort of a, kind of a whole wheat cracker. All right, let's uh, get some of this. You can see here the... The amount of mayonnaise and the and the relish in there seem to be just enough to kind of give it some cohesion. But uh, let's put this on there, and you can see there's a nice big chunk of there's a nice big chunk of chicken right there. Let's get that right up. Whoops! <laughs> oh, that was lovely. Let's uh, oh, it's breaking up now. All right, let's see if I can put this back on the top here and it doesn't want to work all right 
forget it. We'll just go ahead and wing it. Like, we'll wing it as is. I'm making a mess here. All right, that's what it looks like. Let's give that a taste. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Hmm. That's pretty good. The chicken is tender, not mushy in any way, shape, or form, but it is tender. Mm. Juicy, because of course it's packed in, it's packed in in some sort of water or whatever cooking juices they are. But hmm, that's not bad. The um, it's a standard mayonnaise, so you know we all know what that tastes like, and um, not bad. And the relish adds a nice little sweetness to it, and you get a little crunch from the little bits of uh, pickle in there. You know, usually like sweet gherkins or something. Ah, eh, that's not bad. Let's uh, let's get some more here on. Let's uh, mix this up a little better here and get a nice get a couple of big chunks on there, and hopefully these will decide to stay on the cracker here. Yeah, the it's the one thing about these is that because of the larger chunks and they're such odd shapes that uh, they don't seem to want to stay on the cracker. But let's give that another taste here. Whoops. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that would definitely hit the spot. Hmm. Yeah, very tasty. Very tasty indeed. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's go ahead with our next our next one. Going with the tuna now. We'll do our star kissed here and we'll open this up. Now this one contains, according to this, it's a 2.75 ounce can of tuna salad already prepared. And it comes with five crackers and it comes with a little spoon. So let's see how that looks like. All right, here's our, here's our little foil packet of crackers. And we've got a, looks like that might be a date code, I'm not sure. So. Let's uh, go ahead and get our other, here's our little tuna salad, and then here's our little spoon, a very flimsy, you know, soft, kind of a soft plastic spoon. Now this one has an expiration date on it in 2018, but of course, being that this is all canned and, and packaged as is, I'm sure that it would last a lot longer. So let's go ahead and we'll use this spoon. We'll go ahead and we'll crack open our our little can here. Ugh. And there we go. There's our there's our tuna. Alright, and we'll get our little crackers out here. We'll see if these Things survived the packaging. All right, get those open. And there are our crackers. And these are kind of a white wheat uh, Ritz style cracker. Let's uh, hit that there. All right. So here's our crackers. And then here's our our tuna salad and we'll, we'll give this a stir and looks like there's looks like a bit of carrot in there there's some celery let's see what else is listed on here that I could read uh, I'm trying to see here and this print is so small I see vegetable broth I see Bell pepper, chili pepper, minced garlic, onion. Uh, let's see. 
let's see. I'm trying to see if there's carrot because it looked like there was some carrot in there. Well, it might be that might be some some pepper, but it looks like carrot to me. So, all right. Let's go ahead and get a spoonful of that. It looks good. It's got a decent aroma to it. You get the smell of the tuna and some so a spicy note, not overwhelming. It doesn't smell overwhelmingly spicy. Ooh, can't talk today. Wow. All right. Let's get that onto a onto our cracker here. That looks interesting. Give that a taste. Mmm. 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 That's pretty tasty. Not very salty. Tuna flavor. You know, prevalent tuna flavor. There is a little sweetness to it. And I think that is carrot, but let, let me... Yeah. Yeah, that tasted of carrot. That's, that's, I think, a car uh, cooked carrot. But, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty decent. Mm. The crackers are buttery and got a nice crunch to it. Good flavoring. Yeah, that's quite acceptable. Let's um, put some more here on a, on a cracker. We'll kind of spread that out. It's got some spice to it. It's quite pleasant. Uh, but it's not, you know, it's not overwhelming. It's not um, super spicy, but you definitely taste some spice there and prickles, you know, little prickles on the tongue, but nothing crazy, nothing outlandish. I mean, this wouldn't be, this would be, pal this would be good for most palates. I mean, I, I don't think anybody would, would be offended with this. So. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that that is quite acceptable. All right, let's get that off to the side here and let's clean up a little bit here since we I made a little bit of a mess with that chicken before. All right, all right, let's go ahead and we'll open up our other little box here, our lunch on the run one this one i found and i thought it was kind of interesting to see that it comes with it's a what they would consider like a full lunch and there's all the contents of the box here's our little cookie it appears to be a chocolate chip we'll put that there and here's our little fruit cup and it looks like to be uh, looks like peaches. So we'll place that right there. Here's our our crackers. Here's our our quote unquote main, our tuna salad, and it comes with a spork. And the spork's not bad. It's not super flimsy, but it's not you know it's not like an MRE spoon either. And then this is one of those cans that have the foil tops on them. You know the vacuum sealed foil tops. So let's uh, let's open up our crackers. See if these survive. Then it looks like it, and it looks like we get uh, six crackers in this package. There we go. Again, another white wheat um, kind of rich style cracker. And then here's our our main, and we'll, oh, there we go, nice little hiss. And there's our, there's our tuna salad. And we've reviewed these once before. And as you can see, it's tuna, there's some celery, looks like there might be some, there's some carrot in there or some bell peppers. So, 
And it's all prepared, it's all ready to eat. We just need to give it a little stir here to make it look pretty. So, you can see here there's a nice big chunk of celery right there. And the uh, tuna actually has a nice consistency to it. It's not completely broken up. It's actually got little chunks in there of, of tuna where you could see the actual fibers and, you know, the actual little lumps of it in there. And that's what it looks like. We'll give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. The tuna's pretty good. It's a, um, it's a light tuna packed in water. Um, it's got a little sweetness to it, but nothing, nothing overpowering. Um, tastes pretty good. I mean, that's, you know, a traditional tuna salad you would find at just about any deli or in a, in a off the shelf tuna sandwich that you get any, at any convenience store or any restaurant. Uh, that's actually not bad. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually, that's quite tasty. Let's um, get a little, let's get a little more on here. And you can see right here, you can see the nice big chunk of tuna right there. There's some more celery and I think that's a bit of carrot right there. You can see it. Kind of hard to see, but. There's another little piece right here. Let's uh, fish that out and place it on the top. You can see right there. Let's uh, give that a try here. Yeah. Yeah, that's very acceptable, very nice. Um, definitely would make a nice, um, nice light lunch. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Hmm. Yeah. Very, very tasty. All right. Let's put this off to the side here. And we'll, uh, we'll look at the other components of this particular one. And we'll go ahead and we'll open up our fruit cocktail. And we'll give our cookie a taste. And this looks like your standard off-the-shelf fruit cup that you would find just about anywhere. This, I'm sure this is packed in a heavy syrup. So we'll go ahead and we'll open that up. There we go. And we'll take our clean spoon here and we'll fish some of this out for you here. And it just looks like your standard cut up bits of peaches. Let's, uh, there we go. Get some of that. Get rid of some of that, uh, that syrup. It'll make a mess. And as you can see here, here's our little bits of, uh, of peach. You know, right there. And we'll, uh, give that a taste. Yeah. Again, nothing extraordinary, just your standard um, canned peach in a very light syrup. I mean, very, very light. I'm actually surprised. Um, I was expecting it to be a little more cloyingly sweet, but that's actually not bad. Let's give that a... Yeah. Standard peaches. Got a little bit of a metallic taste to them. I'm sure that these were... You know, these were canned at one point, or I'm not sure, but, or maybe it's, maybe it's a little bit of the, the bitterness from the pits, you know, when they, because these, I'm sure these are mechanically pitted, and sometimes those pits, you know, you get little bits that break off and get into the, into the tank where they, um, where they cook these, and it, it does add a little bitterness to it because the pits do, are, uh, do contain small amounts of cyanide, just like you know, apple 
apple uh, seeds and stuff like that. The pits of, you know, peach pits have a little bit of cyanide in them, but it's so minuscule it wouldn't even be, you know, it's not a concern for anybody. So, but that's not bad. That, you know, adds a nice little, nice little component there to your quote unquote lunch. And now let's uh, look at our cookie here. And again, it's a standard, it's your standard everyday chocolate chip cookie. It's, you know, it's obviously, it looks like it's well, well baked. So all the moisture is probably baked out of it, except for the, the chocolate. But let's give that a taste. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Wow. First thing I taste is the chocolate before I even taste the cookie. The, the cookie is firm and dry and crumbly, but in a pleasant way. You know, this would be perfect with a with a glass of milk. Because this is they've dried it out so much that this would absorb most of the milk. And if in you know in one fell swoop here. And uh yeah, that's actually a pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty good cookie. Alright. Let's uh place that right there. And we'll uh come in and clean up a little bit here again. Alright. Next, let's go ahead and try our little Vienna sausages. We all know about these, but the flavors were the ones that kind of that kind of caught my attention here. And I know now that Armor is making other varieties of flavors in uh, in these little Vienna sausages. So this one that I'm opening up right now is the hot and spicy. Let's uh, put that right there. And as you can see here, that is a bright red sauce. And let's uh, let me grab our my little good fork here and see if I can fish out one of these Vienna sausages. There we go. And there's our Vienna sausage. Let's uh, give that a little bit of a dunk here so we get some of that sauce. All right, we'll give that a taste. Mmm, right off the bat, first flavor, Vienna sausage. You know, the beef and pork and all that, you know, tastes like, kind of tastes like a, um, you know, your standard hot dog flavor, Frankfurter flavor. And you get a little bit of little bit of spiciness and everything from the sauce, but it's not uh, it's not overpowering, it's not overwhelming. That's pretty pleasant. It's, uh, it's a very thin sauce. I would have preferred that it had been a little thicker so it sticks to the uh, to the Vienna sausages, but for the most part, that's not bad. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go back in here, grab another one. Well, got an end piece on this one, but yeah, it's um, it's kind of like a watered down Tabasco flavor. Um, but it's 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 very pleasant. It's very nice. What's a hmm, yeah. I guess they're using it's some sort of a tomato based sauce along with whatever they're using for the spice, I'm sure it's some sort of uh, Tabasco based um, heat component, but yeah. Hmm. That's actually not too bad. All right, let's open up our bourbon barbecue flavored ones and give that a taste. There we go. Ooh, that is a dark, 
That is a dark colored sauce on that one. Let's uh, give that a whiff here. Ooh. Yeah, it smells of a dark, like a brown sugar barbecue sauce. Yeah, I made a mess over here. Oh, oh well. Yeah, that's a, that is a dark, dark barbecue sauce there. We'll uh, you see how, you can see the color on that. I mean, that almost looks like the color of baked beans or something. Let's give that a taste here. Mmm. Wow, right off the bat. Smoke and um, brown sugar. And then you get the, the hit of the, um, the Vienna sausage flavor of the pork and everything else. But, yeah, that's smoky, sweet. There's onions and peppers and, yeah, that's actually pretty, hmm. That's pretty good, yeah. Mm. Let's grab another one here. You can see how dark these have become sitting in that sauce and then being, you know, absorbing that that rich that rich uh, liquid. Yeah, very smoky. I I get a little hit of the bourbon flavor, but not a lot. I'm getting more brown sugar. You know, the brown sugar kind of caramel notes and um, some sort of a spice component, you know, could be cumin or or um, or black pepper. Or I'm not sure. It's, um, but it is quite pleasant, actually. I mean, uh, you can see here, it hasn't absorbed all the way into the center, but... Yeah, right off the bat, barbecue sauce flavor. Sweet brown sugar barbecue sauce flavor. Good smoke. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually very pleasant. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to our patties. And then we'll do this one first, our lemon pepper tuna patty. So we'll go ahead and crack this open here. And that's what it kind of looks like on the inside there. Let's uh, put that out on the tray. And it is a actual patty. Kind of broke up a little bit in there. And let me see if I can fish the rest out. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely a patty. There's a lot more in here. Yeah. Now this is a 2.6 ounce package here. And these were uh, priced at about 88 cents a piece. Which, for the money, is actually a nice amount of tuna for the money. And it's in a retort pouch. And you can pretty much eat these anywhere. You can eat them straight out of the package. Just you know, kind of squeeze them. You know, rip the top off and squeeze it into your mouth. But as you can see here, it was at one point, it was formed as a patty when it was placed into the uh, into the pouch. Let's uh, kind of break off a piece here. All right. That's what it looks like. You could see that it was when it was cooked into the, you know, cooked in the pouch. You know, it, it got that glossy coat on it from being up against the uh, the pouch itself. But let's give that a try. Mmm. Oh yeah. Right off the bat, lemon pepper. Mmm. Very nice. More, a little more pepper than lemon, but lemon pepper. Mm, the tuna is really nice. 
Mm, that tastes really good. It's not salty or anything. Hmm. Very, very tasty. I mean, not much different than than the lemon, the lemon pepper tuna that you would get in the MREs. Um, except, of course, the, instead of it just being kind of loose and in the package, this has actually been kind of pressed and formed into the patty. But, yeah, that's not bad at all. All right. We'll leave that there. All right. So now we'll go ahead and try our black pepper tuna one. I would assume that this is going to be heavy on the black pepper flavor. Then there's our there's our patty you can see in there. Let's uh, see if we can go ahead and uh, get this opened up in a way where we can kind of get this out in one in one piece. I think we can. there we go and that's what it looks like when it doesn't break up on you very obviously a patty this would work really well if you wanted to eat these you could probably just throw that straight onto a little hamburger bun and it would probably be the perfect size and it's the perfect shape for something of that nature as you can see here, you can see the the glossy coating from when it was cooked in the in the retort pouch when it was sterilized. Of course, it being up at this side, these sides being up against the um, the re oh, the retort pouch itself, you know, produces that. But it's uh it's very firm. But you can see that there is actual big little you know big chunks of tuna in there it's just been pressed into a patty well uh there we go and that's what it looks like we'll give that a taste mm. oh yeah yeah black pepper and lots of it mm. Let me snag one of these crackers here. We'll put that on there. Oop, come on. There we go. Yeah. Very prevalent black pepper flavor. Wow. It's almost like a... Gives it kind of like a beef jerky kind of flavor to it. With the black pepper. Like a... Like a... Oh, um... Like a kippered, like a kippered snack, kind of deal. But let's try that with our cracker. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's really good. That goes really well with this with this cracker. Hmm. Lots of flavor. But, um, mm. yeah, lots of flavor, but without the additional need for mayonnaise or mustard or any other, any other uh, dressings, that's ah, really good. I like that one. Mm. I'm sure Gundog would be quite happy with that. I think it would fulfill his uh, spicy quota for uh for a meal there so yeah that is very good that would go really really well on a on a hamburger bun with some lettuce and tomato that that would make an excellent excellent sandwich all right and last but not least let's try this breaded tuna patty because this is the one that really caught my eye when i saw this on the shelf because it's it's breaded and uh, I mean, it's uh, you can see here some of the nutritional facts. This has got this little package here has got 14 grams of protein, 
which is pretty darn good. I mean, that's that's right up there. So for 14, gram, 14 grams of protein for 88 cents, I mean, how can you how can you beat that? So let's open this up. There we go. And we'll crack that open here. And that's what our patty looks like in there. Let's get that out on the tray. And there it is. Hmm. Not exactly the prettiest looking thing in the world, but you can definitely see that that thing is breaded or was breaded. So I'm sure that this was breaded at some point and probably, I'm not sure if it was fried or what, but uh, if you can make that out, you can see the coloring on that. Let me kind of pick that up and get it closer. You can see that, yeah, it looks like there's some sort of breading on there. You can see the, the layer of breading and then the tuna underneath, but let's go ahead and kind of cut into this here. Definitely a lot firmer than the uh, than the other ones, and there's the cross section of it right there. You can see the breading on on either side, and the tuna in the middle. All right, so all right, this will be interesting. We'll give that a taste. Mm. All right. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Well, all I really taste is tuna, and it seems like it's been flavored maybe with a little, with a little pepper and not much else really. Um, the breading itself doesn't have doesn't really lend a whole lot of flavor. Hmm. And it doesn't really lend a whole lot of texture either. It's not crunchy. Very, it's very moist. Um, it's not horrible, but I don't know. It's um, it's kind of unique. Hmm. Yeah, I really can't, um, I can't describe. I mean, it kind of looks like, you know, if you've ever made a, um, a sandwich with just your traditional white bread and had it sitting in a, in a little Ziploc bag for, for a while and, you know, whatever moisture from like the lettuce or tomato kind of makes it, you know, it's kind of soggy. It's kind of like that, but I think whatever breading this was, was flavored because it does on its own, it does have a lot of flavor to it, but it's just, I don't know. It's not, it's not unpleasant. It's, it's kind of pasty, but it's not unpleasant. I think it just adds a lot of it, it adds whatever flavor that's on there, in, including what's in the tuna itself. Because you can see here, I don't know if you could see it right there. There's some sort of a, I'm not sure if that's oregano or there's another little piece of something that's in the tuna itself. I don't know if you can, if you guys can make that out. Let me try to f fish that. No. There we go. I don't know if you can see that little dark bit right right there I'm not exactly sure what that what that is if it's if it's um, oregano or parsley or something it's obviously got some sort of herb in there I'm just not entirely really sure what it is but mm. hmm 
it's not bad. Like I said, it just, it's not pleasing to the eye. But it's not offensive. In other words, you wouldn't take a bite of this and spit it out. It's got good flavor. Got a interesting mix of textures because you've got the soft of the breading with the firmness of the tuna. Should be the other you you'd expect it to be the other way around, but ah, it's a good I guess it's a good way of uh kind of throwing you for a loop when you see that and you're expecting breading and you know kind of be you know kind of the texture a little firmer texture on it but yeah not bad at all all right everyone well that's uh that's pretty much my review of these uh shelf stable items that you can get at your uh local walmart uh we'll be doing some more uh reviews of this kind you know as you as you know, you guys seem to like the the one video I did previous to this for the dollar store stuff. You know, you guys seem to like that more than my other videos. So I'll be uh I'll be doing some more of these here in the future. These type of um, commercially available uh, shelf stable items and review them for you guys. So you guys have a great one. Uh, I want to say hello to everyone out in Texas and Louisiana. Um, we're all thinking of you here, you know, recovering from the, uh, from Hurricane Harvey. Uh, if you guys, um, you guys that are watching this, please donate to your local Red Cross or to out there that are collecting funds for the people out in, in, uh, in Texas and now Louisiana, they're getting, they're getting the, all that, all that rain and stuff from, uh, the remnants of Harvey. So, uh, our... Our thoughts are with you folks and um again please you know uh, any any little bit of uh money that can go out there to those folks would be much appreciated so uh as always please uh like subscribe and comment down below and uh you know get i'm open to suggestions for anything you guys might want to have me try on camera for uh, some of these shelf stable items, if you see something on your on your store shelf, you know, hey, let me know. So, uh, you guys have a great day. Again, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.